All right, guys, so we're making the matzo mac and cheese. Right now, I'm putting six pieces of broken up matzo into two eggs. And then Sarah over there is getting them all ready. I'm going to put another egg in here. Passover recipes often have a lot of egg. Yes, because it's a good binder. Yes. Oh, that was flying. Tea. That was flying. Oh, oh Sarah! Oh. <laughs> Actually, you can tell we're obviously master chefs. Oh yeah. Or totally. the other measurements. Um, oh, um here, here you go. Oh, thank you. And the instructions are on there. Yeah. Milk, salt, and pepper. Okay, so there's one part of the recipe I don't really agree with. With the we're just placing the sour cream and we're not mixing it into the cheese. We are. No, we're not making a cheese sauce. It seems. Do you want to make a cheese sauce? I want to make a cheese, cheese sauce, sauce and make it almost like a lasagna. Yeah. Like cheese sauce, lots of stuff. Cheese, lots of stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah Layer that cheese, shit. Because it's, cheese. it's really going to be a cheese kugel. And we have another variation of hot <coughs> Passover friendly mac and cheese that uses actual Passover noodles. This is more of like a cheese kugel. Yes. And um, I'm not mad about it. Yeah. So we have two different types of cheese. Do you have the fork again, Colby actually? Yes. Colby and Montreal yes. Jack. And then we also have, where's the other cheese? Cheddar. We have cheddar. Yeah, we have Cracker Barrel cheddar. Oh, so, yeah. This is us right now. And we'll get back to you a little later. When we're layering. Well, I'm crushing up some matzo to make breadcrumbs for the mac and cheeses. Sarah's boiling some pasta and making the sauce. And then we're going to mix it all together and put it in the oven. Oh, they're just about done. They have about two minutes left, and here they are. Oh, oh, wait. So that one, the one, that one over there, is the one with the pasta. Passover pasta. Passover pasta, and that one is the one with just matzo and cheese layered. Cheese layered. You're gonna see us try them both, and we're gonna, of course, break out the bottles of sparkling grape juice. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're here, it's cooked, and before we try it, and I show you it, we're gonna pop a bottle of sparkly grape juice. Cause that's the only good part. Here, you can have the big cup. Thank you. Yay, happy Jew day. Happy Jew day. Cause we're trying this recipe out to see if we could find something to bring to pa Passover Seder at my grandma's. It's not kosher or anything, but we uh, do it Passover style, obviously. Yeah, so everything has to be... Not, pa like, Passover friendly. friendly. So, yeah. and if, for you people who don't know what that means... No flour. We're Ashkenazic, so no rice, no potato. Yeah, nothing like that. Uh, no bread. No so we Wait, matzo. no, we can have potato, right? We just can't have we can corn. We can have potato. We can have no, potato. we can have potato. We can have corn. Corn. Or rice. And so the mac and cheese, we couldn't use a thickener or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. That's my sound. Oh, you want that one? Oh, yeah, I gave her the big cup. Okay. Okay, so here, we're, do you want to do the potato or the matzo? Whatever. Uh, let's do the potato. I'll, okay. All right, so here's the potato one, potato pasta. This is the pasta one. It's, all right. Yeah. I think this one's going to be better than the other one. Uh, I'm scared. We'll probably get some cheese. I want to get some of the, like, crunchy. I did. I was Crunchy bits with the cheese. I'm going for it. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, no fucking way. No fucking way. I just like potatoes are rotten, but with a little bit of pasta. Oh my god, it's actually really good. <laughs> just no, 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 just do no, it. No, actually. Fucking do it. It's just good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Needs a little more seasoning, but mm -hmm. it's not bad. Like, we could adjust this. This could work. Do you hate it? It's not a huge fan. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it, but like, <laughs> it's, it's actually. actually in her mouth. I'm gonna finish this piece when we're done filming. I stand. So my cheese sauce didn't ruin everything? No. No, no. Sarah made the cheese. It's a little curdled, but it's not that bad. Oh, it's not curdled. It's not oh, the see this one? Here, this is what this one looks like. It's actually cheesy. This is supposed to be more like a kugel than mac and cheese. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> True, Francis. True. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's not that bad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I like that one better than that one. 
I do. I like the matzo flavor in it. I like matzo, that's why. I'm gonna try it again. I had preconceived notions that I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's thicker. I like okay. it better. I like it better. Yeah. I'm actually kind of... Mm. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Sorry, it's actually really Absolutely. good. No, it's better. It is actually better. No, no it's no, fucking not. <laughs> <Please. laughs> Lots are so good. This one. It almost tastes like a cheesy matzo brai. If you're a Jew and you've had matzo brai, it tastes like that. And we don't taste that because we use egg matzo. That's why. We use egg matzo because we like egg matzo. And we add extra egg. The egg was in the... Um, There's three eggs in here. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. No one can see that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. I don't know what the next video is going to be. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll have to Bye. tune in to find out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 So I'm gonna first. We're gonna try the potato one because I think that's gonna be better. Or should we try the mashed? <laughs> <laughs> so like, no. Like, you shouldn't try either. <laughs> Sarah doesn't want to do it. Ah, Passover chat. Guys, Passover chat.